Hello there, random smart person on the internet. If you are an old millennial like me, you remember there being nine planets and that Pluto was a planet when you were in high school. But now these young kids are being taught that there are only eight planets and that Pluto is not a planet. Why Pluto is not a planet? I'm glad you asked. First, we must ask ourselves, what is a planet? This seemingly simple question doesn't have a simple answer. Everyone knows that Mars and Jupiter are planets, but both Pluto and Ceres were once considered planets, and now they're not. What gives? Defining the term planet is important because such definitions show our understanding of the solar system. Over time, objects categorized as planets have changed. The ancient Greeks counted the Earth's moon and sun as planets, along with the other naked eye planets of Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Earth was not considered a planet, but rather was thought to be the central object around which all other celestial objects orbited. The first known model that placed the sun at the center of the known universe, with the Earth revolving around it, was presented by Aristarchus of Samos in the 3rd century BCE, but it was not generally accepted. It wasn't until the 16th century that the idea was revived by Nicholas Copernicus. By the 17th century, astronomers, aided by the invention of the telescope, realized that the sun was the celestial object around which all planets, including Earth, orbited, and that the moon was not a planet, but was a satellite around Earth. Uranus was discovered in 1781, and Neptune was discovered in 1846. Ceres was discovered between Mars and Jupiter in 1801 and was originally classified as a planet. But as many more objects were subsequently found in the same region, it was realized that Ceres was the first of a class of similar objects that were eventually termed asteroids, which means starlight. Pluto was identified as the ninth planet when it was discovered in 1930. But Pluto was much smaller than Mercury and even smaller than some of the planetary moons. Ganymede, Titan, Callisto, Io, our own moon, Europa, and Triton are all larger than Pluto. It is unlike the terrestrial planets of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, or the gas giants of Jupiter and Saturn, or even the ice giants of Uranus and Neptune. And yes, that is how you pronounce that planet. In the early 1990s, astronomers began finding numerous icy worlds orbiting the sun in a donut-shaped region called the Kuiper Belt, beyond the orbit of Neptune, out in Pluto's realm. With the discovery of the Kuiper Belt and its thousands of icy bodies, known as Kuiper Belt objects, it was proposed that it was more useful to think of Pluto as the biggest Kuiper Belt object instead of a planet. Then, in 2005, a team of astronomers announced they had found a 10th planet. It was a Kuiper Belt object similar to the size of Pluto. People began to wonder what planethood really meant. What is a planet anyway? Suddenly, the answer to that question did not seem so evident. And, as it turned out, there's plenty of disagreement about it. The International Astronomical Union, IAU, a worldwide organization of astronomers, took the challenge of classifying the newly found Kuiper Belt object, which was later named Ares. In 2006, the IAU passed a resolution that defined planet and established a new category of dwarf planet, Ares, Ceres, Pluto, and two more recently discovered Kuiper Belt objects known as Haumea and Makemake are the dwarf planets recognized by the IAU. There may be another 100 dwarf planets in our solar system and hundreds more in and just outside the Kuiper Belt. Now we have a new definition of the word planet. The word planet originally described wanderers that were known only as moving lights in the night sky. Recent discoveries led the IAU to create a new definition, which they made using currently available scientific information. The IAU defined planets and other bodies, except moons, which are known as satellites, in our solar system to be defined into three distinct categories in the following way. 1. A planet is a celestial body that A. is in orbit around the sun, B. it must be big enough to have enough gravity to be forced into a spherical shape, and C. it must be big enough to have its gravity cleared away any other object of similar size near its orbit around the sun. A dwarf planet is a celestial body that A is in orbit around the sun, B is nearly spherical in shape, 
C has not cleared the neighborhood around its orbit, and D is not a moon. All other objects except moons orbiting the sun shall be referred collectively as small solar system bodies. With these new agreed upon definitions, Pluto was downgraded from planet to dwarf planet. Dwarf planets are not planets, just like dwarves, hobbits, and elves aren't people. So there you have it. You learned what is a planet and why Pluto is no longer considered a planet. Leave a comment down below on which team you're on. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Are you on team Pluto is not a planet? Hashtag Pluto is not a planet. Or on team wrong? Whatever team you're on, always remember, have fun with STEM.